Yo, what up? It's your boy Eclipse from Team Ruthless, and we back in the building. I know it's been a minute since I did an ECast episode. This is ECast episode number five. I want y'all to think of this as like a new reboot. Kinda like I'm forgetting. We're moving everything past from last year. That stuff staying there. This year we focusing on everything new, everything. Hopefully a bunch of good stuff. <laughs> um, for for those who didn't know, like why I took I've been gone is. I ended up getting COVID and I'm good. My symptoms were light. I was lucky. I didn't lose my taste, I didn't lose my smell. I had a light fever and I had like this random tiredness. I don't know how to explain it besides just like, like this depression that kind of just hit you. It just took all your energy. You know, I didn't want to, I couldn't even play video games. Like, or if I was playing video games, it hit me and I just like, yo, I'm done. <laughs> but I'm straight, I'm good, I'm lucky. I didn't I didn't spread it to my wife. I didn't spread it to anybody. Luckily, um, I've been good. I don't know how I got it. I was wearing my mask. I was doing everything I thought I was supposed to be doing. Maybe I just, I don't know, but I got it. Um, I think I got it from, I don't wanna say it. Cause I, don't, I think I got it from someone, but the person who I think I got it from, tested negative three times even though he had all the symptoms and way worse symptoms than I did but whatever I mean it is what it is I'm not mad at that it, it's a it's a virus it's a pandemic it happens so what sucks about it was I missed like three weeks of work and I couldn't get back to work until I got cleared and then once I got cleared I went on vacation which was nice so I kind of been behind like I've been, I've been like a month behind on a lot of stuff. There was a lot of stuff I had to catch up on at work. There was a lot of stuff I had to get uh, content I got to catch up on. Uh, some stuff I recorded that um, I felt like it was no longer a reason for me to drop because so much time had passed and there was a bunch of stuff, man. So there's a lot of reason why I didn't drop another ECAS episode. Plus, I just kind of had to get my... That funk, that three week funk of being sick, not being able to do anything, kind of had me unmotivated. So, but it's a new year, and this year I'm motivated. I got, I got goals that I want to make. I want to continue to grow, and I thank everyone who's helped me get here. And I'm, I, every time someone shoots me a message on Discord about, yo, I'm a fan, yo, like I really appreciate it, and that I, yo, it, it gets me motivated. And thank you guys, and I promise more content's on the way. I'm hoping to up my quality, and I'm hoping to up everything this year. So, yeah, <laughs> look forward to it, boys um, and girls. Um, but yeah, that's all I had to say about that. We back. This is episode five. Next episode still gonna be six. I know I said it's gonna be like a little reboot, but you know we keeping it going. I'm not going back. <laughs> so. There's a couple things that I missed that I wanted to talk about, and after that, I promise you, we won't be going back to anything 2020. Um, and one was Cyberpunk, and Cyberpunk got a lot of flack, and I'm not saying it's not deserved, but I feel like we didn't keep that same energy towards games like The Avengers, when I feel like Avengers was way worse. Now, maybe we all, all overhyped Cyberpunk, but... I don't know. I think overall, Cyber Cyberpunk is a solid game. My biggest complaint with Cyberpunk was the lack of customization for your, your creative character. They made it sound like that game was going to be able to be whatever you wanted to be, and I I did not feel that at all. When as soon as I created my character, um, I started as a corporate, and I asked my friend who started as a street kid, like, "Yo, what was the beginning of your story?" And it was like the exact same, which also kind of felt weak <laughs> in my opinion um kind of disappointed me and um they made it sound like you was gonna be able to do whatever you want and you like as soon as you pick your body type that kind of sets like your romance options too for the game so kind of kind of disappointed in that disregard other than that i think it's a solid game i don't think it deserves the black i mean it does i, I feel like we've been a little too harsh on it but at the same time should have delayed it to be honest um, they rushed it. Uh, Sephiroth dropping the Smash Bros. I don't know if we talked about that. I don't think we did because I feel like it got announced when I had COVID. I don't even remember. But anyways, I thought it was dope and it was a pretty cool drop. And Super Smash Bros. needed more bad guys. 
So I think that's cool. Granted, I'm sick of the story characters, but it's Sephiroth. You can't go wrong with Sephiroth. Um, and another one that this one's more recent, and I think it's from this year, was, and I think it's a cool idea, was the fighting game community, fighting game code of conduct. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys know, but there was a lot of drama over the, when, when did it happen? Fall? How long ago was it? I don't know, it's kind of a blur now, but um, a lot of drama happened and a lot of big names got called out uh, without going into much detail in the fighting game community. Um, and I think this is something that, that's trying to reform it, I guess. But I don't know if this is enough. I kind of feel like, I think it's a good step and I think it's it's headed towards the right direction. And I know, I feel like it's heartfelt and it's from people who actually care. And there's some big names mentioned in here um, that were behind this. But I kind of feel like, I don't know, and it, it might sound silly, but I kind of feel like there needs to be some kind of board of directors for the FGC. The FGC as a whole, as a term itself is kind of like a broad term that kind of like just means you go to fight you play fighting games like you go to the locals you go you play online tournaments like anyone can just say they're part of the fgc and yeah some names definitely stick out more than others but you know it's, it's kind of a broad term that kind of encaptures anybody who who thinks they're a part of it and I think maybe it's time to become an official thing. And I think there needs to be some kind of monetization behind it. Because I think it's, you got to give people something to lose. And because when you think about it, so, some of the names that that are, I guess, no longer here, what did they actually lose? Um, I don't know. And I don't know, maybe, and maybe um, that's not the way to do it. But I kind of think like, there's, there needs to be some bigger names behind it. Somebody who's going to back it up with money, too. And maybe it needs to come from the companies. And maybe maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe, maybe that will take a lot away from what the FGC currently is. And maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But I kind of feel like there needs to be some kind of, like, official board of directors with an official rule set. And these guys could host and run tournaments worldwide and I don't know what that would take in order because I think these rules if you're going to try to implement these rules they have to be enforced not only do they have to be enforced they have to be respected by people who are big in the community and I don't know how to do that I, I don't know any ways to do it you know what I'm saying but I think there needs to be money behind it real money behind it and I think that's the best way to do it. I don't know, but I think it's cool. You guys definitely should check out the rules and any step towards it is dope. You know, the fighting game community has a way of, gaming communities overall have a way of like adopting um, just like rule, like rule sets and, and stuff as a whole where they just being, that's how you do stuff without it being written down. So this could be something like that, maybe stronger because it is written down. But I don't know. We'll see. But I do think it's a cool attempt, and I hope I hope I'm wrong. I don't think I, I still I don't think I hope I'm wrong. I hope it gets bigger than what it is, because um, I just don't feel like it's official. But I but I don't know what you can do. But that was just a suggestion, kind of. <laughs> but yeah, maybe it'll just get some people's mind going if this video reaches the masses. But <laughs> but yeah. Um, Ecast. I want to talk about Ecast from here on out. You know, my podcast. Um, the reason why I decided to do Ecast is there aren't any gaming podcasts that I like to listen to. And when I do listen to gaming podcasts, they seem to kind of, I don't know, they just seem, they don't hit for me. And they just don't hit. Like, I don't find them entertaining. I don't find their opinions that great or different from the norm. Um, my ecast for me is my way of, I guess, getting what I want out of a podcast. Um, except I'm interacting with you guys because I want to hear the things you guys say, and I also want to get the thoughts in my head out about gaming. 
um, out there to you guys. So it's kind of for me. Um, I also I kind of also really wanted to do a podcast about something. Um, so I'm hoping this evolves into something bigger one day. Um, Ecast, the name itself doesn't. I'm, it probably won't stay this name. Um, one maybe one day if I I make an official thing. Um, maybe this stays on my channel. Maybe I make a new channel for it. Maybe I partner up with somebody and make a channel for it. Um, I'm kind of open to anything. Um, y'all saw my, I had my friends on one episode. I'm open to having more people on more guests on, um, this could be whatever. Like it's really whatever it's for me, but it's whatever. If I can turn it into something for more people and more fans and we can all get something out of it, that, that's kind of my goal. Um, I have fun doing this and I, 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 I know a lot of you guys hit me up and talk to me about it um, after the hand and love my videos. So thanks for that and I hope I can continue to do that for you guys too. But this, I'm not gonna lie, this is for me. And again, I hope I can turn this into something more. So it, it turns into a community thing. Um, and yeah, if somebody want, if y'all want, if you're interested in, in joining an episode or something, just hit me up. Um, I'm down. I would like to at least know you beforehand or, or talk to you. I don't want to have anybody up here, but I am open. Like I'm not going to, I'm never going to say no. Um, but we could always work something out or talk about it or I can get to know you. You get to know me and then we can have the episode. Like it's not that serious to me. Um, I'm not a big enough channel where I think having some new person on here is going to make me lose views or anything. Um, and again, it's for me, so it's whatever. If I lose views, I lose views. Just don't be crazy or a dick. I'm already an asshole. We don't need any more of that. Uh, goes for Fight Night. Fight Night last Friday. That's, fight Night is the only thing I've been consistent on. If you guys don't know about Fight Night, every Friday on, at Twitch, on my stream, the link's in the description. Uh, we do Fight Night, and I pick a random game. Well, I don't pick a random game. I pick whatever I feel like playing or people want me to play or whatever, or want us to play. Uh, last week, we did Splatoon, Mario Kart, and Smash Bros. And the week before that, we did Monster Hunter, uh, the demo. And that was pretty fun, too. So the hunt party was lit, and the freaking last week was really lit. We got, like, 10 people playing at one time. We had a bunch of people on Splatoon. Uh, we had some people who randomly followed me on Twitch who joined us who I didn't know. Um, and, like, I, I wanted... But I want Friday night to be like that. I want it just kind of like a yo Friday night party, gaming party, I guess. You know, you hop in, you hop in the Discord, we fool around, we have fun. Just yo, it's all about having fun, yo. Kind of like back in, you know, kind of like back in the day when you used to have local your your family come over, your friends come over on Friday night, Saturday night, come play video games, or like you know back in the day, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two, when all your friends had the game, we hopped on. You know, there's two parties of five. We fooling around. You know, stuff like that, yo. That's what Fight Night's really about. Um, I might change the name one day. I don't know what to change it to, but right now it's Fight Night. <laughs> and, yeah, that's what it's about. We did Mario Kart Splatoon. It was mad fun. We had, we had like 10 people, yo. It was dope. It was pretty dope. I had a good time. Um, some of the most fun I had in a while playing video games. Um, so, thanks, guys. Thanks for showing up. And I'm hoping Friday is just as fun. <laughs> um, and again, if you all, if you guys want to play, join us on Fight Night. Just hit up the Discord. It's every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, sometimes I hop in chat, sometimes I don't. It depends on what we're playing. It depends on what we're doing. Usually I'm, I'm in chat, but we all just you know fool around and have fun. You know, it's just it's casual stuff. You know, just making video game fun again. <laughs> um. Also, for the Damon X Mind players, I have put together a playlist. Um, I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty tired of Damon X Mind I'm burnt out, but we had a lot of new people, and it, I thank you guys because you guys are the reason why my channel is where it is. So I do appreciate it, and I do love you guys, and I do love the community. So I put together this playlist um, with almost every PvP match I ever recorded. Me and this order unit, and whatever PvP matches I could find on YouTube, um, I threw those in there. There wasn't too much, um, because as far as I know, me, Buster, TBM, and Dad Who Plays are the biggest YouTubers, 
covering Damon Exogena, and I'm like last. <laughs> no, I'm third. I'm second. Buster's first because he he's had a big. He has a pretty decent side channel. Um, and then me, very small. And Dad who plays is just. We, I think we started like the same time. Um, so all of our content is on there, all our PVP matches, and Disorder Unit who's just starting out, uh, who still loves the game, and he PVPs every chance he gets. Or plays Damon X Mon every chance he gets. All our videos are on there. Every fight night, every tournament we hosted. Um oh Verge, shout out to Verge who had who hosted the tournament. Um all that stuff is on there. You're not gonna find a bigger PvP list, PvP archive for for Damon X Mon. You're just not. My videos alone are are I have a lot. <laughs> and um not just my gameplay, it's the tournaments we own, you see every different uh, players you know play style and all that stuff you'll learn you'll learn a lot if you're still playing damon x Mongolia, you'll learn a lot from watching all those videos and different builds and different weapons um i always kind of wish that fighting game communities and stuff like that had archives like that that you can go back to and watch all the fights i don't know if they do or not but um i think there's some channels who do that but yeah that's kind of what i wanted to do for damon x Mongolia. so i made a playlist Check it out um, if you're a Damon X Machina fan. I'm not going to lie. I'm burnt out on that game. And I don't know what else to do for content. So, I'm not going to say don't. I'm not going to say there won't ever be a Damon X Machina video again. But don't expect one. Um, I also did one for builds and, builds and tips and tricks and stuff for the PvE stuff. So, all that stuff I covered is in there too. And with other stuff that Dad Who Plays covered. And I think Buster TV I'm covered. They don't know I did that. I just didn't do it. So they're in there too. It's not just for me. It's for you guys. Um, And then there's games I'm looking forward to 2021 that I kind of want to brief on. Um, I'm looking for Monster Hunter Rise. That's going to be the next game probably f that we're going to focus Fight Nights around. Um, Near Replicant. I'm hyped for that. Platinum Games. I'm a sucker for their games. And I always wanted to play it. And it's getting remade. Um... Uh, Fantasy Star Online 2 Neon Genesis or is it New Genesis? I always forget. Hype for that. I want to play that. Uh, Galahad 3063 or 3093? I forget. But um, I have a video of that gameplay on my channel. Check it out if you're interested. It's a, a mech first person shooter. Um, you can play in third person too, but I didn't like the camera. And that's probably the first time I never liked the third person camera. Um, but I'm hyped for that. I'm probably going to be covering that game a lot. Um, I missed the last beta because I'm an idiot <laughs> and I got the time zones mixed up, but <laughs> uh, next beta I plan on covering a bit more of it and trying to give you guys an idea of what the game is actually about. Um, the, 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 for the game not being very known, the game, the, the video did decent on my channel. So, uh, and Mario 3D World, of course, I'm hyped for because I gave away my Wii U to my family when I moved out. So I finally get to beat this game. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I got new content coming. Uh, ECAS should be weekly back on the regular. I'm trying not to miss a week. I know I'll be late. This video's already late. Um, and I got some more stuff that I plan on dropping weekly too. So you guys be safe. I'm out. Stay, really stay safe out there because it's crazy out there. Um, I do think 2021 has a lot more in store. For us, I don't think it's going to be worse, but I, I do think you guys need to be wary <laughs> and save your money <laughs> and stay safe and try not to get sick and wear a mask, please. Um, <laughs> and yeah, but I think we're going to, we have some bright times in front of us too. So you guys be safe. Again, I'm out. Deuces. I said deuces. Yo, and I promise my hair won't look as crazy next video, I hope. So, because this shit is wild. I just took my hair out, so don't judge me. But we out. For real this time. Deuces. <laughs>